Yo right there ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm having a right string of bad luck. I've now got a puncture on my V85, which um, is on the rear wheel as well. So I've now got to get the rear wheel off of this bike here. Now, those of you that saw me messing around with the rear end on my V7 the other week, um, you'll be aware that I'm not particularly spannery, or at least not particularly skilled in what I'm doing with the motorcycles. So I'm sort of uh, trying to work out what I'm doing as I do it, um, which is sort of helpful because you can see how not to do things. Um, so I thought, well, screw it. As soon as you've got to take the mickey out of me doing it on the V7, you get to take the mickey out of me doing it on the V85 this time. And uh, hopefully um, this one will be a little bit easier just because it's a standard size tire. So it should come out without having to dismantle the whole swing arm and stuff like that, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I need to get it done because the V85 is my main transport and I can't go shopping if I haven't got a bike with um, air in its tires. So, um, right, let's crack on. Keep that bike from down. Right, I'm kind of hoping that it's all going to be dead straightforward. You've got this, which is for the axle, which obviously I'm going to have to uh, loosen that off and then take the nut off that. Um, and you've got this, which holds the... Um, the brake mount so it doesn't spin when you apply the brakes uh, and I think that um, is basically it I don't think it's going to be that difficult and because the way the brake is all spaced I think I'm gonna have plenty of room once this um, assembly is removed from the axle I think it's gonna be quite easy this one fingers crossed right Let's loosen these off. Um, so I'm thinking this is a 27. Yep. Um, and then on the other side of that, we've got a 10 mil Allen. And then uh, it's an eight mil for the, um, the brake pivot. Oh gee. Okay, that's really stiff. <laughs> there we go. Loosen this off. That bet is stiff again. Now, if this is anything like the V7, I'm going to have to wind it out quite a long way. I doubt the camera can focus in on it, but I'm just trying to get that thread clear of the brake caliber. There we go. All right, it comes out. Now on this side, this should really help. There we go. Now let's just pull the axle out and the wheel and brake should all sort of come apart. Now I'm gonna do that side by hand and then catch the brake on the other side. spacer which could do with a clean up axle is out wheel is dropped and then just uh, make sure the cush drive rubbers don't disappear and then these cush drive rubbers all seem quite well secure um, I'm not sure how they're held in uh, but yeah easy peasy that's how you get the wheel off the Moto Guzzi V85. Dead easy. Awesome stuff. I think that's the culprit. I'm not sure, but I think that's the culprit. Um, but because this is a tube tyre, I can't plug it. I'm going to have to get either a puncture repair kit or um, get a new tube. I'll probably just get a new tube. 
Well, that was a hell of a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, the V7, to get the wheel out, even with a standard size tyre, um, is a bit of a squeeze because everything's really cramped in on there a lot. Um, but the V85, it seems quite well designed um, for easy wheel removal. Um, and I'm really pleased with that. So uh, this is a bit of a non-video, um, but it does show you how simple it is if it was a thing that you were thinking you were going to have to do at some point. Um, whether it was to change your tyres or like me to uh, get a puncture repair um, but yeah that really was easy um, in fact I'd say that was even easier than any other motorcycle I've ever done uh, shaft drives have their advantage sometimes <laughs> um, but yes as you saw that was like literally a five minute job <laughs> I don't know why I was worrying Anyways, um, if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It'd be awesome to have you come back for some more. Um, I don't make silly videos like this all the time showing my ineptitude with spanners. Um, sometimes I actually ride my motorcycles. Um, I've got a dirt bike, which I take green laning at a Beta 390. Um, I've also got my very customised Moto Guzzi V7 um, and this V85, which is quite new to me. Sorry, got distracted by toe rags. Um, yes, so um, yeah, if you like this video, if you thought it was helpful, useful, whatever, give it a little thumbs up, grab your fingers. And if you didn't, you can always give it a little thumbs down. That's all cool, all cool in the school. But please do drop in a comment if you've got a V85 and you're wondering whether you can get the wheels off easy. The rear wheel is certainly, certainly a piece of cake. Um, front wheel, I imagine it's not much harder. Um, obviously you've got twin discs and all that shenanigans to worry about there though. Anyhow, so I'm, right, I'm waffling. You ride safe, take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye for now. Keep that bike. Oh, she came up. Rub us on. She came up. Down. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bike. Rub us on. Down. <laughs>